I greet you in Jesus' precious name. I want to speak to you today about a man of great faith. Now, you might think, uh, Angus, are you talking about Abraham, the father of faith? Are you talking maybe about Job, the great farmer who had incredible faith? Who are you talking about? Are you talking about maybe Elijah, the man of faith? No, I'm talking about a man called Caleb. Now, we're going to go right to the Word of God, to the book of Joshua, chapter 14, and I'm going to read from verse 10. Now, remember, the Lord was very angry with the men of Israel in the desert. In fact, a whole generation, a whole generation perished in the desert. Two men, only two men out of that whole nation survived and went across into the promised land. Not even Moses. Moses never went across because Moses disobeyed God. Moses said to the people, what do you want me to do for you? He should never have said that. Don't touch God's glory. That's one thing I've realized. Don't even go there because God will not tolerate that. And then the second thing, he struck a rock for the water instead of speaking to the rock. And the Lord said, because of that, you're not going over. You can go up the top of the mountain and you can look across, but you're not going there. I must say, I had a little discussion with the Lord. <laughs> and I said, hey, Lord, that's harsh. But that's the holy God that you and I serve. And I want to tell you, if there's one thing that God cannot to tolerate, yes, obviously it's sin, but it's unbelief, which is even worse. It's worse than adultery. It's worse than theft. It's worse than murder. When you do not believe that God is a man of his word. When God says it, that settles it. Now Caleb believed that, and so did Joshua. Two men out of our whole nation went across the Jordan River into the land of milk and honey. And I want to read this to you so you can see it for yourself. Joshua chapter 14, and I'm reading from verse 10. And this is what the word of God says. And now behold, this is Caleb speaking. The Lord has kept me alive, as he said, for these 45 years. Ever since the Lord spoke this word to Moses while Israel wandered in the wilderness. And now here I am this day at 85 years old. As yet I am as strong this day as on the day that Moses sent me. Isn't that amazing? A man of faith. Just as my strength was then, so now is my strength for war, both for going out and for coming in. Now, you know, Joshua said to Caleb, because you have been such a faithful servant of the Lord, you can choose any part of the promised land that you want. You can settle anywhere, anywhere. And you know what he did? He took the big mountain where the big giants were. Can you believe that? 85 years old. And he went in and he cleaned it out. I want to tell you the Anakim were the descendants of Goliath. Listen to this. Now therefore give me this mountain of which the Lord spoke in that day. For you heard in that day how the Anakim, the giants, were there. And that the cities were great and fortified. It may be that the Lord will be with me and I shall be able to drive them out as the Lord said. I'll stop there. And that's exactly what happened. He drove them out and that is a story of unparalleled obedience and unparalleled faith. What about you? What is that giant in your life which is holding you back today? I, want to, I really want you to, to pray and to ask God to give you the faith that Caleb had. To say, Lord, in Jesus' name, that sickness be gone. In Lord, in Jesus' name, resurrect me and give me the strength. Goodbye.